Hey guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Louie. I'm going to be doing a reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please take what resonates, leave the rest. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, please check the description box below. All the information will be found there. All right, guys, um, please take what resonates, leave the rest. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into y'all's reading and see what we got going on for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Angel guides, spirit guides of good and light. Clear and precise messages. What's going on with Pisces at this time? So you got King of Swords. You guys could be doing a block party, right? You're very logical with the King of Swords. Okay, so what's this King of Swords? You could be dealing with an attorney for some of you. Let's see. What's this King of Swords? You could be speaking your truth when it comes to something. You could be speaking up when it comes to something with the King of Swords. What's this King of Swords for Pisces, Summon Rising Venus, and North Node? Right, so you got the lovers, and then you got the moon. So Cancerian energy, and then you got Gemini energy. Okay, so you could be speaking up when it comes to some sort of love dynamic, okay, with someone. All right, Cancer Pisces showing up here. What's this King of Swords with the moon? All right, there could be some sort of deceit or something like that, but you're speaking your truth. Yeah, there could be some sort of good news that's coming in. All right, for some of you, with the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. All right, what's this moon? This could be like a new endeavor, a new project or something like that. And you're speaking up. You have um, the urge to create as well. Okay, because, yeah, with the Two of Wands in the reverse, there could be some sort of bad planning. Okay, so replan things over when it comes to this new endeavor or something like that. What is the moon? What's this moon? So the moon talks about illusions. All right, you got the eight of pentacles. So you're working through the illusion of something. All right, something is being illuminated, maybe at work. Not maybe, it's showing here that it's at work. Okay, so maybe you want to work through some sort of deceit, some sort of betrayal, or something like that with someone, all right, with the moon, because there's secrets and illusions of some sort. But the Eight of Pentacles is showing up there. So for some of you here, it's something, something that has to do with work, and you're speaking your truth when it comes to it. All right, the Strength card, yeah, you're speaking your truth, all right. All right, so you have something to say. You're not going to tame this lion's mouth, okay? You can't really tame a lion's mouth. This is you being very confident, okay? Leo energy. You could be dealing with a Leo for some of you, okay? But whatever it is that you're working on requires you to have confidence when it comes to um, anything. But what's hidden is coming to light here. And you could be saying the truth about something, all right? With the lovers showing up, that's Gemini energy. What's this lovers? What's the lovers? Justice. What's the lovers with justice? So for some of you, you're dealing with a Libra. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini. There could be some sort of hasty communication that's coming in in the near future. Okay, when it comes to the lovers or something like that, you got justice showing up. So something is not fair. Okay, so you could be coming out like hasty. There could be some sort of hasty communication. But what's the what's the justice? What's justice? There's no more love when it comes to something and you're putting something to rest. Okay, so when it comes to love, okay, you guys could be putting something to rest because it's not reciprocal with the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, for some of you, you guys are healing from this. All right, this could be a choice between two. All right, so you could have made a choice. All right, what's this justice? Damn. And then you got the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. So somebody could be in the justice system or something like that. What's this um, What's this Queen of Wands with the justice? Page of, Pentacle, uh, Page of Cups. So there could be some sort of an apology that's coming in. Okay, it could be from an Aries, Leo, Sag or Libra even. Okay, but... I feel like you're creating something or you're working on yourself on something very confidently, right? And something is definitely going in your favor. What's this Knight of Swords? 
Ten of Wands in the reverse. So you're releasing anything that's baggage, any type of baggage. Okay, you could be releasing those type of baggages or anything like that. Somebody could be very unpredictable here. They could hold, they could be holding on to a lot of things. Okay, it could be somebody that you're dealing with, but you guys are releasing anything that's baggage related. Okay, it's not your baggage to carry, so don't do it. All right, what is this um, Page of Cups? So Page of Cups is like creative energy. All right, this could be somebody young, younger than you. This could be a child for some of you. All right, and then you got the Six of Pentacles. So something about giving a child money could be significant. Um, Six of Pentacles with that Page of Cups. You have something here with this Six of Pentacles. This is like a equal give and take. Okay, this could be like generosity. Of some sort. But it, be, it could be causing some sort of discord in a relationship. Yeah, that's the truth. Okay, so... I was going to start this whole entire reading over because I'm picking up a lot of energies and some of you could be feeling like a little blocked, but yeah, that was the Ace of Swords that just came out. Came out. I'm going to continue here. What's this? Um, let's see, guys. What is this King of Swords? What's the King of Swords? So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, energy. Okay, so King of Swords, all right, with the Two of Pentacles. You're trying to balance things out, okay? And for some of you, balancing things out might require you to cut people off. Okay, Capricorn energy could be dealing with a Capricorn. What's this Page of Wands? So this could be some sort of good news that's coming in for some of you. What's this Page of Wands? Okay, it could be from a child. Page of Wands. All right, so there's some sort of like missed opportunity, okay, or somebody feels rejected, all right? For some of you, it could be a child that feels rejected and you might need to travel to them or something like that. There's some sort of bad planning here, all right? What's this two of wands? They could be at a distance from you. What's the two of wands? All right, ace of cups, two of wands with ace of cups. What's this two of wands in the reverse? So, two of wands in the reverse is talking about delays. So, there's some sort of delays when it comes to love. Okay, maybe some, something that has to do with love is delaying you. All right, with the fool from taking the leap of faith into the unknown, Aquarius energy. All right, for some of you here, you could be dating somebody at a distance, okay, and that could be a little troublesome, and you're getting over it, or you're tired of it, or you feel rejected because of it. Right, so that's not going to resonate with everybody. So what's this moon? The moon is talking about something hidden coming to light. Some sort of an illusion of some sort. That's Cancerian energy. What's this moon? Right, the sun and the moon. So something is being exposed. What's hidden is coming to light for sure. Okay, it could be about a Leo for some of you. The sun. Okay, some of you could be pregnant with the sun. What's the moon and the sun? Or pregnant with ideas. Okay, that could be significant. But it's not the Empress. It's coming out as the sun, so. What's the sun with the moon? Right, the Nine of Pentacles. You're exposing something about some sort of deceit or something like that and going your merry way. You're not codependent on anybody. All right, Nine of Pentacles. This is self-made as well. And you go from the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles here. All right, for some of you, this has to do with a relationship and you're choosing to be single. Okay, Virgo energy, Nine of Pentacles. With the sun. Or something could be exposed about a Leo, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Virgo. All right, somebody could be like model, like a model here with the Nine of Pentacles. What's this Nine of Pentacles with the sun? All right, you're, you're going to be very happy here soon. Single and ready to mingle. All right, what's this Nine of Pentacles? All right, the Seven of Wands. You need to protect yourself. You need to set some sort of healthy boundaries when it comes to these people. Okay, or these this, this situation of some sort. Because you know and you see the deceit around you. And it could be with work. All right, what's the Eight of Pentacles? Because the Eight of Pentacles is describing something that you're very skillful at or something like that. You could have haters. 
All right, the seven of cups in the reverse. Seven of cups in the reverse. There's like some sort of like um, indecision. Okay, with the seven of cups in the reverse, I feel like somebody's very confused as to where to go to or something like that. All right, but you could be seeking some sort of clarity. What's this seven of cups with the eight of pentacles? All right, the empress, a mother figure. Taurus, Libra energy. Some of you could be pregnant. And you might not even know it. Okay, or you could be giving birth to something new, like a business or something at this point. Okay, so you guys could... Let's see, what's this empress? The empress with the seven of swords. Okay, so somebody was very deceitful here. It could be a mother figure. All right, so seven of swords, sneaky energy. All right, conniving. What's the seven of swords? Why are they sneaky? What's the seven of swords? Because of some sort of love offer. Okay, for some of you, this is a love offer that's coming in and maybe a mother figure doesn't like it. With the empress and the seven of swords. Okay, this person could be like um a thief or something like that with the seven of swords seven of swords talks about um betrayal theft dishonesty okay running away what's the what's the leo energy there what's the strength what's the strength card the moon what's the strength card with the moon Strength card talks about inner power, persistence, and courage. Okay, persevering, right? So some sort of conflict. You're going to get rid of some sort of conflict. Somebody might not think that you're very strong when it comes to something, but you're strong as fuck. Okay, and that's what's going to be hidden. All right, this is bully energy. This is like a third party trying to break these two up or something like that. Okay, with the moon showing up, that's Cancerian energy, Pisces energy as well. All right, so there's some sort of deceit or something like that when it comes to a love offer. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini could be significant. What's the lovers up here? What's the lovers and the star? So that could be a reconciliation, okay, or bringing hope and love into a situation. What's the lovers with the star? An Aquarius could be significant. A Gemini could be significant. You got the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so you might have a child with this person for some of you or healing a child dynamic. But there's some sort of good news. Okay, that could be coming through. What's this Page of Pentacles? Page of Pentacles is also breadcrumbing. So little by little, you guys are healing something. Okay, yeah, I'm moving on to calmer waters. Okay, so what's the justice? What's justice? So balancing things out. Okay, things that are from your past, you could be balancing out. And there could be some sort of good news that's coming your way. Okay, so the Four of Pentacles is something about possessiveness. Okay, so somebody's holding on too tightly to something that they need to let go of. What's this Four of Pentacles with the Page of Wands and the Justice? Somebody could be turning their back on the city and moving. Okay, Four of Pentacles, saving money to move. Queen of Swords, yeah, you're cutting somebody off. Somebody who's very possessive. It could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, all right, for some of you. Queen of Swords, your sword is up or you could be saying something. Okay, for some of you, this, this could be a child. All right, because they're very impulsive. What's this um, Knight of Swords? What's the Knight of Swords with the Emperor? So, if it is a son, like father, like son, okay, um, there could be some sort of hasty communication that's coming from a father figure or a boss figure of some sort. An Aries could be significant. What's this Emperor? The Eight of Cups. Somebody wants to walk away. Baby Daddy wants to walk away. All right. There's hasty communication. All right. Whenever they come in, they're very unpredictable, and then they walk away. Or you might feel like walking away from this situation. All right. What's this Ten of Wands in the reverse? Because you're releasing what no longer serves you. Six of Pentacles. An equal give and take. So, whatever they give you is what you're mirroring back to them. What's this Ace of Cups in the reverse up there? What's this Ace of Cups? You got the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. 
Okay, so there's no love coming from an Aries Leo Sag for some of you. What's this Ace of Cups with the King of Wands? All right, for some of you, this person's mad or upset. What's the King of Wands? All right, Ace of Pentacles. It might stop giving you money or something like that. For some of you, this has to do with money or an opportunity of some sort. All right, or this person is mad because you're missing out on an opportunity or there's some sort of setback and delay. Okay, with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ace of Cups in the reverse. For some of you, there's somebody here that doesn't want you to focus on love and focus on money. Okay, and be intelligent and cut something off. What's this Page of Cups? Page of Cups, Page of Swords, all right? Focus on school for some of you, all right? Or you're too focused on school, but there could be somebody that's watching you. What's the Page of Swords with the Page of Cups? It could be like a secret admirer for some of you. All right, Ten of Swords. So, that's a no. Page of Swords, Ten of Swords. Somebody wants to, like, end you. Or somebody feels backstabbed and betrayed that they hit rock bottom. Okay, and they want to come to apologize to you now that they hit rock bottom. All right, what's the Six of Pentacles? What's the Six of Pentacles? So, Six of Pentacles is, like, generosity. A give, an equal give and take. What's the Six of Pentacles? All right, with the Nine of Swords, so anxiety. Somebody is anxious that you're not going to give them an equal give and take, okay, or something like that. What's the Nine of Swords with the Six of Pentacles? That something is not fair, that you're going to ghost them. Okay, Virgo energy could be significant with the Hermit. Or there's a Virgo in their, in their mind. They can't sleep at night or something like that. What is the Six of Pentacles? Yeah, Six of Wands. They want to see you victorious. So, I don't know. I feel like there's somebody in your in your energy that wants to see you victorious. If not, this is you guys dealing with a child. That's what I'm picking up. Okay, because you got a lot of pages. You got all the pages out. So, there could be... Look, and then the world is showing up. All right, so something online could be significant or something about traveling could be significant. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. All right, there's a sense of completion here. All right, or you could be done when it comes to something. What's the world? A cycle has closed, but you feel satisfied. All right, the world with the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you could be going online, okay, or something like that. Some of you could be traveling the world. All right, or you're going to have the means to do it. For some of you, you guys are taking like a job or something like international or a, a school international or something like that. That could be significant, all right? So get your passport ready, all right? Your finances are about to look up. Whatever it is that you're building could be going viral, okay? You're completing a goal or a lesson and now you have the will of fortune. So for some of you here, you guys could be like writing something and going viral with it or going online or being a public eye, okay? Because the seven of wands, Sorry, the Six of Wands. Where is it? Oh, here it is. It was the one that came out. So some of you could be in the public eye. So congratulations. All right. Or something's going viral or you have something going online. So let's see. Um, let me pull one of these really quick. Angel Guide, Spirit Guide to Good Line, Clean and Precise Messages for Pisces, Summon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Give me one. Give me one. All right, so you got Aunt Nancy. Betrayal. The number 20 could be significant. Somebody has an aunt named Nancy. Somebody's name could be Nancy. Somebody could be a negative Nancy. Somebody could say that. All right, but anyway, it says here, Shadow of Betrayal, Diaspora Akin. So the temple is shadow. The element is air. Anansi or Kwaku Anansi. The Aiken trickster god and sacred clown snuck into our global folk tales while Gullah Gachi children heard tales of Aunt Nancy, the tricky spider woman who Guy Guyani's parents tamed us with Nancy stories about witty teen spiders. So again, this has to do with children. Okay, or you could be scaring children into doing something or something like that. Okay, so that could be significant. So it says here, who really betrayed you? Betrayals from other mirrors, from others mirror you betraying yourself. So who's really betrayed? Who's really betrayed you? 
Betrayal is a web of disrupt everything you thought you knew. Use discernment in your relationships. Betrayal makes it difficult to trust, but without trust, your relationships are lies. Trust that no matter what happens and no matter how long it takes, you will survive and thrive. The real question is, how have you betrayed or abandoned yourself? All right, so I am willing to know the truth. So you could be willing to know the truth about something. Okay, so betrayal. For some of you, this could be like family or something like that, or family betrayal, or you feel betrayed by family. Let me clarify that. Angel Guy, Spirit Guy, it's a good one, right? What's this? Look, you can't fucking make it up. By family, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands. For some of you, you have a sense of foresight. You're moving on with your life, right? And leaving something behind. All right, what is, what is this um, betrayal? What is this with betrayal? The sun, Leo energy, something is being exposed. Or you already know this. What's this betrayal with the sun? Yeah, whatever was hidden is coming to light. Yeah, and somebody's being left out in the cold. Or kicked out. All right, five of pentacles, financial constraints. And that's the betrayal. Somebody could have ghosted a situation. What is this? All right, so yeah, false planning with the two of wands and then the world. So somebody could have said that they went, they could have ghosted a situation or something like that towards Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy, All right? With the two of wands, that is talking about like bad planning, All right? Delays or hidden fear. Okay, for some of you, you guys could be scared to like travel or something like that. And that's where your goal is. Assessing, a sense of completion is coming in for you guys. Give me one more for the world. You could be doing something online. So for some of you, if you guys are doing something online, just be careful because you could have like a lot of people that could be like conniving here. The magician trying to manipulate. Gemini energy. What's the magician? Somebody could be manipulating something to go in their favor. The magician is magic, so somebody could be manifesting something. What is this magician? What are we manifesting here? What are we manifesting? You got the hangman, Pisces energy, all right? So that you won't be stuck. Letting go, manifesting letting go of a situation, all right? Or seeing things from a different perspective. All right, and then you got the strength. You're half human, half lion. Okay, so the strength card, Leo energy, you need to be confident. You could have somebody who's watching you online, a cyber bully. Okay, so you're being bullied online or they are or have suffered from it. Okay, so let me pull some of these really quick. All right, Angel Guys, Spirit Guys, a good one, right? What do we got for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? What do we got for Pisces? So you got family. Okay, so you're definitely dealing with a family dynamic here. This could be family. This could be your children. Okay, you could be stuck in between um, a relationship that your children's having or something like that. What's family? So if this is not you, flip a switch it. Okay, so... You got psycho, crazy ex, obsessed. Okay, so maybe family could be obsessed with you or something like that. They won't let go. Or this could be somebody from your past that won't let go. What's psycho, crazy ex, obsessed, won't let go? Because you rejected them. Okay, so you could have rejected them. So they're watching you. Somebody's spying. What's this empress? What's the empress? You got funeral with the empress. So what's the empress with funeral? A mother figure could be significant. You have to put 
an end to something that has to do with your mo with a mother figure funeral right so there is a transformation that's coming in right for some of you this could have been like and we're not gonna get into all that self-love all right you guys are self-loving yourself all right with the empress all right that's it you guys are not gonna be not confident anymore okay the empress is a person of femininity you're divine feminine okay so you're putting an end to anything that's confusing you any of the indecisions okay with that funeral showing up there so you're going through a transformation all right what's self-love with this empress all right drinking toxic lifestyle yeah you're loving yourself if you guys were in this energy or had a toxic lifestyle or something like that you're stopping that shit okay so for some of you here there's someone that could um all right for some of you you guys lost somebody my condolences okay they could have been they could have lost you could have lost somebody to like drinking and driving or something like that t living some sort of toxic lifestyle okay so my condolences right i don't like talking about that in reading so i just had to say that trigger warning so um what is the world with the wheel of fortune what's this world with the wheel of fortune guys don't forget to like share subscribe comment below right you're not happy when it comes to something or somebody's not happy that you have everything available for uh to you who's not happy and what's this not happy with the wheel of fortune and the world you should be happy oh this could be somebody like from your past a jackass somebody here could be mad because they could have had everything that they wanted but they chose wrong okay they chose to be a jackass they chose to go off and do this toxic lifestyle okay so that's for some of you that's not going to resonate with everybody all right what's this lovers up there true colors and then wish for some of you you guys have wished for your for your counterpart or something like that and you're about to see somebody's true colors that could be significant okay so wish with true colors and the lovers you guys have wished for this relationship to be fruitful or something like that what's the ace of cups in the reverse what's the ace of cups in the reverse getting reading somebody could be getting readings here ace of cups in the reverse jezebel a jezebel spirit somebody who's very lusty could be getting readings on you okay ace of cups in the reverse there's no love there what is this ace of cups in the reverse with the jezebel blocked you could have blocked this person all right because there's no more love there you might have a child with this person this person could have taken you in for child support or something like that what's the six of pentacles with this page of pentacles clarify ashamed guilty embarrassed they might feel ashamed or guilty okay they know they were in the wrong all right this could be a child or this could be the person that did this okay what's the six of pentacles romance what's the six of pentacles secluded separation reflection and soul searching so for some of you you needed to seclude yourself or leave something behind okay so that you could find romance so that you could find yourself again okay an equal give and take give me one more all right police station somebody could be a police officer all right or somebody here could have gotten like a police report on someone or something like that I don't know what you guys got going on. Let me pull... I already pulled that. You definitely have betrayal around, so um, be careful. All right, let me see. Let me expose some of these haters. All right, somebody could have some sort of borderline personality disorder. All right. Let's see. Hey guys, very good to go. Like, clean up message for Pisces.
expose these people. All right, so hate tweets, petty tweets. Somebody's like doing like tweets or saying something online about you or something like that. Somebody could be very immature. What else we got? All right, scorn love. Somebody who you had an old fling with. All right, so an old fling of your current recent ex-partner still feels some deep pain of rejection or betrayal. So they're unintentionally sending you the evil eye. They don't realize what they're doing. They're sending you the evil eye with words and actions. So yeah, you have some sort of betrayal here. Something about spiders could be significant. All right, so somebody is definitely toxic. Be careful with overindulging, right? Maybe that's the reason why you left this person behind. Okay, they overindulged in alcoholic beverages and drug use, right? Or this person is like that. Maybe you had a toxic relationship in the past. They haven't let you go, but you've let them go. And you they're unintentionally sending you the evil eye, right? You got here, get a dream catcher to hang over your bed. All right, so something about you when you sleep, all right, you could be like um, experiencing nightmares or something like that. So get a dream catcher and put it over your head, over your bed. You got here causing you to miss out and not and lose an opportunity. The scorn lover. You got here low self esteem. They're envy and inferior towards you stems from deep-rooted childhood wounds. What is this, toxic? All right, Palo Santo. So smooth, spicy aroma clears out the negative energies, instills calm and relaxation, fills your home with joy and harmony. All right, somebody could be claiming credit for your success. Unexplained freak accident, I don't know. So, give me one more for Toxic. Somebody could smoke a lot, or somebody could smoke here. And then you got here, the person hating on you has narcissistic behaviors. Alright, they could be very controlling. They could be a gaslighter of some sort. Alright, so this is not you guys. This is um, the person that you're dealing with. So flip it, switch it. Okay, I hope you got some sort of clarity out of this reading. There's a lot of energy showing up. All right, a lot of blockages. Okay, so you guys need to like do something to get those blockages off. Okay, so do a cleansing. Cleanse yourself, get an egg. You know, you could grab an egg just like this and do, um, put it all over your body. All right, don't have to crack it or anything like that. All right, you cleanse yourself, start with your head, up in your eyes. All right, go all the way down. All right, and then go ahead and throw that in a four-way stop with three pennies. That's for El Egua, all right, so that he could open the roads for you because I feel like somebody's trying to stop you. Somebody's living your life. Okay, so that's for some of you. Somebody is wanting to live your life and you need to, or you're wanting to live someone else's life. This could be children or something like that or fa or, or parental figures or whatever. If you're the parent, then you want to, like, control a child. If you are the child, then parents want to control you so it's kind of like giving all that energy so i don't know what's going on so leave me a message in the comments let me know if it resonated guys i love you guys sending you peace love and prosperity to every single one of you guys bye